Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. So, my other martyr video was loading to YouTube and to kill the time, I decided to run a long haul match in my martyr 38T shocker. And then, well, this game that you're about to see happens. And this is a really good example of what goes on in a typical 38T game. You know, with, you know, some, there's some uniqueness, but it has a lot of the elements that you need to address when you're playing in the game, which makes it so timely is that if you don't know what you're doing, this match would have been turned into a loss. So, fortunately for me, I'm an expert of this tank, which you're going to see displayed. Just, you know, a random game that comes up, and that's the point. You practice and work on your game so that when the key elements occur in a match, you're able to take advantage with your skills and your equipment. So it would help a lot if you could leave a like for this video. And I'm sure you're going to like it when you see it because you don't see this very often all in one package. And that's really the key. So now it's time to go to the action. Welcome to Lakeville. All right. Here we go. It's on. Now, for the most part, you're going to see a lot of artillery posting around Alpha 2 or Bravo 2. Same thing with artillery in J2 or K2. But not this time. Here, what I'm doing is just setting myself up with some cover so I can look down Lake Road. Look at this freak. That guy's a crazy guy. All right. I'm trying to get a shot on him while the battle happens for the valley. But as you can see, the artillery is posted at Alpha 5 and has no interest in looking over here. You know, that can be successful. Now, he's focusing on Lake Road, which, you know, turns out to where he's doing something positive. I'm here also, so that should be helpful. However, I don't have a shot on those guys along the Lake Road at this moment. Fortunately, artillery's got shots. But this is the direct threat. They have three guys here. I need, they need to be stopped. And so there's the M8A1. And that dude just got freaking stopped big time by me. Artillery is helping, but that other artillery is countering me. And he's pushing me back, and that's fine. I'll go back. Now, there's guys over here I can try to shoot. But I didn't want to shoot them because I don't want to compromise my safety. Because on this map, with this tank... This is one of the dominant tanks for this map. A good sniper will rule this map. So I figured I would go and play the odds. Get a safe position where I can overwatch the lake left and right. And react to whatever needs to be reacted to. Rather than try to get a quickie kill and risk myself getting hammered by tier 4 artillery. Because you need to know what you're facing. Tier 4 artillery could kill me in one shot. Potentially. So now I'm going back down here to see if I can get some business. Now while I'm doing this, I noticed over here through the valley, a heavy and a medium have come to the base. Now the artillery is back here at Alpha 5. I'm trying to see if there's any options...
those guys have pushed right up there and our tank destroyer whichever kind he is I don't even know he's a headser he just got annihil or about to get annihilated no I'm sorry T40 we had a headser that was annihilated so we lost our headser I'm like ah crud I gotta go back there now the other guy could go back but he's not going back because he doesn't pay attention most people do not pay attention to defense They want to be a superstar. And to them, superstar means offense. Well, I'm going to teach you here what good defense does. Now, I'm back on defense. This is a T-28 right there. He's a monster. And the artillery finished him off. You see, the greedy, offensive-minded doofus would say, he stole my kill. No, he defended the base. People got to get off this idea of stealing my kill. Shoot the guys that are attacking you, and it's going to all even itself out more or less in the end. If you're a great defensive player, you're going to get all kinds of kills across your matches. If you're a lousy defensive player, he stole your kill. You figure it out for yourself. There's another guy coming. Now, I was going there to fill in the gap because there was nobody there. Turns out I lucked out and ran into these three stooges you haven't seen. There's the third stooge right there. So three stooges were all coming through the valley. I had no idea that was happening. I didn't know where they were. I was going to block and make sure nobody was coming there. And as a bonus for my defensive alertness, I got three kills. That wasn't the plan, that just happened. The defensive maneuver was going to win the game. I'm playing a team game to win the game if I can. And if you play good defense you're gonna get scoring that's just the way it is now not every time sometimes you're gonna come up with a big zero but all the good players who play to win will understand what you're doing now there's another guy here a Hetzer so he didn't see me so I got that tag shot for nothing second shot and then my reload is 2.33 seconds and you just saw me boom 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 this Hetzer into the Stone Age before he could get his shot off but it was close man it was close so the thing that happened is that I went back to play defense and by playing defense I got four kills that was awesome Here we are at the end of game screen. And this is where you get the, the tail of the tape, as they say. I had no boosters on. I'm just running a long haul mission just to knock another one off, hopefully, which you know turned out to be an MVP, which is always nice. Got 16,000 cash. Now, in my previous video, I talked about the ammo selection to give you the maximum opportunity to score in the silver department which I did pretty good 16,000 is a very good result in this tank I mean the the tank XP is valuable if you're trying to upgrade your tank just as a this is just kind of give you a ballpark of what's going on here great free experience with 220 11,000 commander experience and there's no boosters at all that's the key about that so this helps you build your commander which I am in the process of doing still now I've used this tank to build nine skill commanders swapped it off to a different sniper tank 
and then started it up again because this tank is really you know just about the same effectiveness with a five skill commander I mean it gets a little bit better a little bit better a little bit better but I can kick a lot of butt in five skills so this is a terrific sniper commander builder long-term tank make it to nine put that commander in another like Cold War tank for example or if you have a tier 10 put it in a tier 10 and go build another one so as you saw five kills 1700 damage terrific you know some extra assistance that's fine basically 1900 combined solid solid game second class metal like I said you're gonna have to score 2500 ish damage ballpark and who knows five or more kills probably to get a mastery badge I already got it it's not a big deal for me scoreboard the rest of the team needle did had a good game solid three kills you know almost 1400 damage the artillery had a really good game because he was under assault and under pressure. So under pressure, he rolls out four kills, 1,400 damage. Now, he could have done more if he was aware that he could shoot the valley for, you know, nasty points. Maybe he does that. Maybe he doesn't know that. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But he delivered a great defensive job especially when he killed that guy at the base you know the medium that was coming through that I drilled for him and so he finished him off yeah I'm cool with that it doesn't matter to me I don't look at uh, I don't look at it as he stole my kill I look at it as we defended the base that's how I look at it I don't worry about it you're gonna lose kills like that and you're gonna get some kills pick him up here and there basically if you're a good defensive player, you're going to break even in that kind of a situation. You're going to you're going to get some kills you, you sh maybe shouldn't have gotten, and you're going to lose some to guys like the one you saw in that artillery who wiped that guy out. I don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Everyone who watched this game that you that you just watched would look at this and go, "Dude, that was an awesome, awesome defensive uh, return to the base." with high success as you can see on the right hand vertical rectangle no boosters as I was saying the other part of the defensive mindset is to secure your base and that's what I was doing when I went to the valley because the valley was wide open which means any place where there's nobody there to spot what's happening expect guys to be there and if they're not there great fine whatever but you have you know confirmed that scenario whatever it is now i went over there making sure that no one was going to get do again what was going to what was trying to be done by the heavy tank and the medium tank they got there they met the sniper they killed you know and then the heavy tank got got whacked himself and then that medium tank we double teamed and killed him so three of us killed two attackers on our base with two of us living we only lost one guy for the two that they went at our base and that's because ta-da my defensive stand assistance helped them because I was able to spot this was going to be a potential problem before it became the problem and that's the the whole watchdog mentality of defense is very important if you want to win close matches this was like I said a classic example so returned to the base defended it successfully we traded one of our guys for two of theirs fantastic and then to close out the defensive weakness in the valley I ended up lucking out and getting three kills. So that was an absolute total bonus. That wasn't the intent of the move. But that is a result of playing defense. When you play defense, you're going to get lucky opportunities to score sometimes. 
that they happen when they happen. Yeah, it's like, okay, cool, you know, no problem. Want to play good strategic gameplay, which is what I did. And sometimes you're just going to get a bonus, and I got that too. So that was terrific. And that's what I was trying to show you guys because this was a great opportunity to show you that something that it goes a little bit different. You don't get a game that goes that way very often. So I thought it was just super bonus to have a match to show you how this tank plays or can play, you know, in the right hands. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't seen the other video about this 38T, check that out because it was only posted about an hour before this game was posted. Please leave a like. Please tell your friends. That way they'll have a chance to leave a like and subscribe as well. I have more things that I have to do. In fact, I have another killer video coming up after this one that I was in the middle of making. So that's also coming up soon. So basically, I'm out of here because I'm done. And I will see you guys later. Thanks again for watching.